better job on you he would have and should have. He didn't because you are the ultimate achievement of God. You are not born here to become spiritual. That is just to steal your money. You know, pray, pray, pray to what? Who? Sometimes you are not known, not seen, don't understand. You are praying to that stuff. You have nothing to pray. Don't pray on others. You know what I'm saying? Relax. Feel good. Deal with everybody good. Wish everybody good. There is one line which I want to translate to you. Nanak na chaddi kala tere paane sarbat da para. Nanak, for thy name, let my spirit be exalted. By thy will, O Lord, let me wish best to all. Never let down yourself. Never participate in anybody's let down. Never let down anybody. And I give you a solemn promise. You shall not have any trouble in life ever. But why it is difficult for us not to reconstruct ourselves. You know why? Because we don't have time for ourselves. We have a tendency to feel we are okay. You know if you don't change oil in the car, because of the VRT of the engine, the car oil becomes a file. It damages ten times more than ordinarily. Similarly, when you do not construct yourself physically, mentally, and spiritually, how to reconstruct yourself physically? By stretching your body. How you can reconstruct yourself mentally by the sound? Take any mantra, English, German, French, I don't care. By the hum of the sound, the psycho-micro-consciousness of you changes in the hemisphere of your brains and you reshuffle yourself to the newness of your mind. Breathing through left nostril and taking out through right nostril and ultimately taking a one minute breath can give you enough spirit that you can go through the day in absolute success. You will be sharp and quick. You will have no time to fight. You have no time to gossip. You will have no time to waste. And if you check yourself how good you are, take a look at yourself once a week, once a day, for two weeks later, and re-listen to the tape. And just understand how much you are living in imagination, how much you are lying, how you are telling the truth, what was the necessity of speaking what you spoke, and what is the fundamental foundation of your personality. That you must know. 
what kind of person you are before other finds you. Don't let other find you. Everybody has a name. Oh, she's a snake. Oh, she's a bitch. Oh, she's a donkey. Oh, don't, she's a stone. Oh, she's a... Everybody knows your real name except you. <laughs> because you think they don't know anything. They know everything, but they don't say it on your face. It means in this human society, you don't have any face value at all. So, if you want to live, if you want to live, there is a word called Prabhupada. Beaming grace, that is the exact translation of it. Your presence work. You know when I walk in you get up? Naturally it is correct. You should be that sensitive. You should be more sensitive than when I come here in 250 yards of this place, you should get up. That is naturally important as Perfect. But I'm trying to teach you not to get up. <laughs> so you can get out of the physical ritual. Come to a mental meditative ritual. Receive me in your heart, not in your head. That won't work. Respecting another person is not a bad idea. In the language of Nanak, Nanak seeks the dust of the feet of those who chant and meditate and make others to meditate and chant. Reconnected with your Creator is not insanity. But unfortunately, it is out of fashion. If you drink, dance, go to what are those? Just go to us. Discotect and discotect and discotect, whatever they are. You are supposed to be modern. Your children get bored at home. When they grow up, they start disobeying you violently. Violently. Why? Have you any idea why children violently disobey you? Because they're angry. Hmm? Because they're angry. What made them angry? Feeling of values and no values. Not true. Children do not check all that what you are talking about. That's wrong in your brain. There's a little worm in your brain of fear <laughs> and attachment. Children want to know, children want to know what is their future, how secure it is, and how much you can help them. That's all. When they don't get it, they find friends to pass their time. There is nothing to pass time. And then they do all those things to offend you,
to annihilate you and to make you angry. And I am yet to meet a mother or a father who is willing to listen. I had a case in particular. Father loved that girl so much. And she was born in my hand. Well, first declaration she made it, you are no father of mine. Period. Time God is judging and break whether there was nothing else. And second was, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Okay. Third was, I'm going to leave the house. Fourth was, I'm going to work as a waitress somewhere. I let the situation boil for a while. Let him understand it. So he called her. I said, kiddo, are you grandpa, right? She said, that's true. I said, I want to let you know by denying me how much you shall lose. What I'm going to lose? I said, with one stroke of pen and signature, I can make you the richest girl. You're part of me, part of my state. But that's not the point. First see how rich I am. First see how rich I am. And then reject me or accept me, it's up to you. I have nothing to lose. She said, how I know? I said, I'll tell you. So I sent her to Europe. Put her the blame. I said, there is just part of my state, Europe, from Barcelona to Oslo. There's a business, there's a house of mine, and there are people, and they will meet you. So one day our phone came. I have learned more than I should have learned. I want to come back and I want to apologize. <coughs> I said, no, no, have fun. I want you to go to Russia also because you are in that program. He said, no, no, please. <laughs> so I got her back. <coughs> so she was there. I said, idiot, you want to accept me or reject me? She said, accept you, accept you, accept you. I said, okay, we are friends. Now go back and study and finish your school, then I'll send you to college. We have program, earn and learn program. You work and you go to college. We take care of you. And uh, etc, etc, etc. <laughs> Children want to know, as parents, you turn your blood into milk for them. Well, what you're going to do now? And they want to be open, honest. They can read you like an open book. Unfortunately, you can't lie to your child. When you lie to your child, they know. When I was talking to these girls, I was so rude. Was rather I practiced before they were coming in, <laughs> what I'm going to say. Really, I repeated that mumming so that they may have full impact of it. And I really blasted them. Well, you want to lose me? Go ahead. I will adopt somebody else. You want to be with me? Then there are rules to follow. One girl said, 
what is to be a Sikh? As I promise you, you graduate, you do your business master MBA, and I'll take you to the salon and shave off your head. And then from that day, grow up your own. But to let go of the world, so somebody said, you are my child, you are not foolish. But I'm saying, what is to be a Sikh? I say, we don't want Sikhs. It's a liability, it's not an asset. <laughs> we will carry you. Do you understand how difficult it is to carry you through every thick and thin in life? I understand. I say, you understand then. What is the problem? At least for God's sake, learn the discipline. What is a Sikh, she told me. I'm like, our kids are very clever. What is a Sikh? I say organic human being. <laughs> That's what Sikh is. Why have a beard? Because God gave it to me. If you want, why I have a beard? Write an application to him. Why are you with the beer? Why not ask that question to him? Who created you? If he cannot come personally, you come through a dream. Somebody asked that question to God. The guy slept at night and he found out on his body hair grew up so much that he was totally muffled in it. <laughs> so yes, the next day he called me. He said, what did this dream mean? I said, very simple. Next life you will be a duck. <laughs> <laughs> Why so? I said, then you cannot shave over your head. Have you seen any duck shaven? I said, we feel we are the only one. We have this spirit nobody else has. It's not true. Everything is a living being. Everything is a part of you. Every part of you is forever. They are only subject to time and space, which is your own. Tragedy is, there is nothing wrong in you around you and for you. On a certain longitude and latitude, you are born. Your parents are chosen for you. You talk to your disciple, look at the third guru, seventy some year old, he will go twelve years backward to the river, to bring a pot of water to bathe his guru. For twelve years, one day he fell in a ditch, came back. His guru told him, what happened? He said, well, I fell in a ditch, but uh, I didn't let the water go out. He's all here. He said, well, what that lady said? He said, the lady said, Amaru Nathama, this is Amar Das, who has no place. Because Guru Amar Das was a rich landlord, he came to learn, leaving his land behind. So, Guru Amar Das is the relative. Guru said, Amadas, sit on this stool. He said, sir, it is yours. He said, I am ordering you to sit down. You have been bathing me for twelve years. Let me bathe you today. 
And he made it. And then he started blessing him. Oh God, you shall be the shelter of the shelter. You will be the place of all placeless. You will be the name of those who have no names. You will be the freedom of those who have never seen it. There was nothing left. And then he bowed to him and he started him as a guru. Well, it took him 12 years to reconstruct himself. When you get married, you go for honeymoon. You go for honeymoon, right? Yes. Why don't you take a spoon of honey and look at the moon and finish it? <laughs> because few days later you are going to fight anyway. No. The life has to be constructed every day to match our every need and demand. And life is follow the flow. Life is to glow like a light of God. People should trust you and your grace. Your word should be ever true. I like to see if any of you can live the poor. Poverty does not belong to Prakriti. And Purkha cannot tolerate it. Not only you will be rich, your all elements will be rich. But if you overdo like me, I did it. Travel every day by air from here to there to there. See, I got caught. You know what I mean? But I thought I'm taking a calculator as who cares. When in India, my kidney failed. I had only one kidney. And it's showing up the sign of failure. Then I knew it. I asked my doctor, I said, look, Kretna has reached a point that I should cross into a coma. Right? If that happens, put him in a bed, beautiful white sheets and white quilt and everything. And slowly and calmly let me go. He said, no, 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 it can't happen. I'm a doctor. I'm not a murderer. I said, what you can do? He said, I do what I have to do, you do what you have to do. <laughs> so they put me in a car and took me to the hospital. And anything which was impossible became so possible that I was shocked. There are always a trinity of things. You, me, an unseen hand of God is called Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. There is always a visibility of that power. Once a man of God asked God, God, I don't know. You are walking with me. We had four footsteps. Later on, there was only two footsteps. He said, no, I carried you. You were not good enough to walk. You feel that you live by your own will, 
But that's not true. If you do pranayama and have a control on your breath and move one minute a breath, you will always know at what distance your death is, at what distance your difficulty is. You'll become, breath will become shorter. If you have your satkriya, you will always know how your health is. You will understand the will of God for which they make so much noise. Your creative caliber as a female will become a joint one. You will know things which you can't even understand. There is no need to pay to psychologist and to psychiatrist and going to counselor. It has become a fashion of these days. What a psychologist does? Lie you on a bed or a sofa, whatever you call it, and let you talk. Trrr, trrr, trrr. Your story. And then they say, time is up. I think we should have a next appointment. <laughs> You have spoken to a person where you are confident that he will not tell others. The first thing he goes home and tells his wife <laughs> and discuss with his friends. And later on, if he is very successful, he writes a book. <laughs> Tell you believe is not going to tell anybody. <laughs> Give yourself one hour a day, just one hour, in which you must reconstruct yourself, revalue yourself, renurture yourself. and believe in your own spirit. Can you do it? Yes. Say yes, you are not going to do it, I know. <laughs> but some one or two or ten people it may get to their heart. That's the maximum we expect. The psyche follows the role of like Northern Lights, and people call it God. It's an intertwined seven colors energy, which is basically created on the base of every molecule. That molecule contains atoms of our life and our property and projection. And that is how we interact with each other, like fragrance. We know each other without introducing. You know, some people we just look at it we like, and some people look at it we don't like. That's how it goes. But question is, if you don't like somebody, try to introduce yourself. That is the only way to know yourself. If somebody misbehaves with you, behave well. That's the test of your manners. If somebody is unkind to you, be kind to that person. That's the test of your kindness. If somebody is rude to you, be nice to them. That's the test of your compassion. 
you have to test yourself too. You have to know your capacity. You have to know your terminology. As a human being, how good you are. If you are good, that's what you should be. You should be better and you should be best. Follow what I'm saying? Is it difficult? It is. It is. Because you'll be, you like to get into the ritual. 30 degrees spiritual, 20 degrees spiritual. What do I mean? That is all Pisces. The age you are at entering, that has no value in it. You cannot close your eyes and cat will do, go away as the pigeons do. You know what the pigeons do? When they see a cat, they close their eyes. <laughs> and they have not seen it till they get their neck in their mouth. <laughs> Law of karma will never go by. So today is also a good day. You can ask any question from any caller you want. But don't blame me later. I didn't reach you, okay? Go ahead. Nastiest question to the best you can. some guts. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There are a lot of people around that have diabetes and we think that it's because of their diet and different things. And you must have diabetes. I have it too. How? Why? I never ate in time right. I flew too much and I didn't care. I took a calculated risk. I thought my life was 72 only. If I die, it is okay. I have done my job. I have brought teachings. I have kept them pure. I have shared and got them put in writing. My mission is done. But unfortunately, I am living more than that. Now I am in trouble. Now needle in the morning, needle in the afternoon. And when I get all this wound healed, somehow, I'm going to be skinny again. <laughs> if you are, if you are under your glucose weight, there is no such thing as diabetes. And glucose weight is 11 pounds less than your weight. And don't eat after 4 p.m. When metabolism changes. You know why diabetes we all have? I shouldn't have it if I would not have been flying across the North Pole. That was my electromagnetic trouble. But we are byproduct of potato and meat. Little green beans, right? <laughs> no, I have studied life here. I know where the trouble is. And it's not the fat people here are sick or have diabetes. Very skinny people have diabetes. You know the banana in India, you eat, right? And taste it. Come here and eat banana and taste it. There's absolute different taste. There's no prana. They look good, red, or yellow, and well done. You know what I mean? But there's nothing in it. And now our tragic time is coming. 
what we have, uh, what they call them, the vegetables they are going to grow, bio, biochemical, genetic, the reproduction of hormones and non-hormones with clinical, uh, what they call, anti, disease, immune system, positive, something like that. This is still wrong. <laughs> That's what they're going to get. You give child one banana and he eats the full banana, he'll be immune from six diseases for life. But when you depress the immune system, is impossible. That's why. What else? Yeah. So for children that are high needs, like they need a lot of attention, is it better to give them the attention? God, when you need attention is a headache. I know everybody needs attention. You know? Not only wife and husband fight on it. The main complaint of every wife is, you did not pay me attention. What I'm saying? Even my wife has that complaint. She used to say, you did not introduce me. So the whole world, you see the whole world knows you are my wife. Why should I go to the trouble of introducing you? I have done enough to establish and establish very well. Who doesn't know you? But I'll say sorry, next time I remember I take care of you. Oh, you don't want to fight. If somebody doesn't know your wife, the person is not worth talking to. <laughs> it is a matter of criteria. Meet my wife, BBG. She is PhD in psychology. She is a good counselor. <laughs> she stays home once in a while. <laughs> Travels a lot around the world. What are you going to do? We all want to be paid attention to. Right? But we should pay attention to be alert, to be smart, to be wise, to be practical, to be applicable, rather than asking and seeking attention. Have you seen this compound? These are all in trailers, right? You follow? And a car studio got recently that parking lot paved, right? Why? We don't want to ruin the ecology. We want to play humble. We are okay. We are doing very good work. We have good space. But we don't want to make, what is that, empire building, New York? <laughs> State empire building? Huh? Empire if you State. fall from that, <laughs> nobody will know what your pieces are. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided here that we are going to get simple, livable trailers and we are going to have fun. And we'll grow around a lot of trees. So nobody can find where offices are. <laughs> you know, if, if around the office you grow a lot of trees, even thief won't come. Jungle is a very dreadful attitude. We are okay. And we divided ourselves. Our manufacturing is Eugene Oregon, up to heart. 
our sales in LA and our administration is here. So if you catch us, you have to catch us in three states. You have to think. Live by heart and work by head. You will never ever be in trouble. What else, folks? Yeah? Now you are asking me a political question. 
is not that I am for war, I am for peace. For the tragedy has happened. Some people cannot digest things. All these Badwans, Muslim countries, got oil. And they got oil money. Now they want to be show off. So they are trying to create atomic bombs and this and that. And mass um, destruction things and all that. And it is the rulers. Normal public just die for nothing. They even do not know what is a mass destructive things. And Bush is a cowboy. <laughs> He doesn't care. He said to the United Nations, I will tell Iraq to agree to be open and honest, or I'm going to do it alone. And nobody can fight with the United States. Their ships, those you cannot see them, go so high that other than a rocket, you cannot down them. Is that clear, understood? Right? And they can bombard from the smart bomb. Those bombs come to about, let's say, 2,000 feet above, and then they drag them where to hit. What is the defense? What is the war? It's a pure suicide. So why to fight such a war? What they want? Okay, you gave us the agreement that we will not create you will not arm yourself with destructively. Let the UNO inspector check it. We'll give them check it. And the men. They are agreed now, I understand, I don't know. Will they or will they not? War will become absolutely a non-essential subject. Pakistan has a had a bomb. India had a bomb. So the Secretary of State went there and she addressed both countries. He said, neither of you, and especially Pakistan, use had a bomb. Everywhere said, why? She said, in this region, the wind blows from east to west. So if Pakistan throw bomb in India, where it will fall, it will destroy some area. But when it will mushroom, it will destroy Pakistan, Afghanistan, Iran, Saudi Arabia, anything further. Then it is in the hand of wind, not in the hand of man. And look, how much poverty is there in these countries? So much poverty, you can't believe it. And they are making atom bombs. So ridiculous. So what can we do? Nothing. Nothing. Pray for peace. That's why I do that peace prayer day. We play our part. You know, on this side of the mountain is where we made the atom bomb. Right? On the, this side of the mountain, we do peace prayer. <laughs> Don't you see the similarity? No, we are good. We play our role very well. So food was served here? What a sacrifice. You guys think, was it good? Yes. I understand it was very light food. Anti-diabetes diet. <laughs> yeah, you ask. Sir, what's a good thing to do if you have, if a person has so much energy that it's hard to contain all of it? Energy? Energy. 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 
energy. I think you should read ten pages of Sri Guru Granth. You will see. That's what I do when I have too much energy. I just start chanting, and that's it. I'm gone. When you have too much outside energy, it's very precious to pull it inside, and that's the best you can do for yourself. I think you have no question further than this. Yes. Um, I wanted to give you a painting that I did. Where is it? It's over there. Okay, come on, show us, folks. <laughs> You gotta lose weight too. <laughs> I recommend it. Oh my God! Hallelujah! That's great. Can we see? I can see it. Oh. Thank you. Keep it there, folks. Sampuram? Sir? Anything else? Sir, we're heading up to their respective abodes. Well, my advice to you is, from today onward, make it a point in life. Come what may. Every day, first thing in the morning, you have to reconstruct yourself. That's called sadhana. That's called? Sadhana. Do it as it is in the manual. That's called aradhana. And then third word is prabhupati. You shall become master god. Not G capital, G non capital. <laughs> Sadhana, Aradhana, Prabhupati, Namaskara, Hey, Yom, Soha. Understand? Now I would like to play that song, uh, Graceful Woman, and then we'll go. No woman. No. By now I think you all can sing.
I'll give you a few songs. The lyrics are mine, and they have been sung with the piano beautifully. Hey, put that tape on. <laughs> These are the expressively uh, dramatic feeling of a woman in living life. अरे कुकड़े
Have you found it? Rewinding. Wow. <laughs> At least it was used once. <laughs> We have about five, six hundred tapes. If you do not uh, listen to all these great tapes uh, playing in the world around and listen to these humble tapes, your life can be very beautiful. There it is.
had this special opportunity to get spiritual names directly from the Siri Sings Up um, before you all left from camp, so I wanted to share those with you. Tanya. <laughs> Your spiritual name is Shakta Kar. <laughs> Princess who has creative power. Jill, Menherbani Kar, Compassionate Princess, Annette, Aradhana Kar, Sri Singh Sub talked about that today, Princess who practices perfect meditation, Claire, the leap card, princess who has compassion. Anna, Babe Darshan, princess who is a divine blessing. Ethne, Dharamkar, Dharamkar, princess who fearlessly treads the path of righteousness. She's off to an early start on that one. Marina, Guru Hanskar, princess who is the Guru's swan. There's a whole big long name on here, Russian name. But I guess it's short to Mila. Hari Bajankar, princess who sings the divine song of God. We know that name. Rebecca, are you here this evening? Well, her name is Nam Hari Kar, princess who is the word of God in creativity. Natalia, are you here? Nirbhul Kar, 
fearless princess. Kim Evelyn, your Sadhnakar, spiritual discipline. And then Kim um, Zanakis. Okay. Your name is Siri Kartokar, princess who is the great God doer. <laughs> Vanessa, we now have another Satjivan car in New York. <laughs> princess who lives a life of truth. Congratulations. Thank <laughs> you. 